how do I... I don't even know how to begin this. I really don't. So, most likely, if you've clicked on this video, and or if you got the notification, then you're probably wondering where I've been in the last month. I'm not sure if many of you follow me on social media, but um, if you all don't know, and now you know, my mother passed away on the 12th of November this year. And um, it's been, it's been one hell of a journey this far. It's been a roller coaster of emotions. I haven't been able to really sleep that well. Actually, oh my god, I have never been able to sleep well. I, be I believe back in the um, back in the summer, I do believe of this year, my mother was diagnosed, or at least no, yeah. My mother was diagnosed with lung cancer, which made zero sense to me because my mother, this is a, this is a fact about my mother. She used to be a smoker back in the day. Um, and she hasn't done that in over 20 years. And I don't know how somebody who hasn't smoked in like 20 years gets lung cancer, like off the rip, off jump like that. I always thought that it, you know, eventually that kind of that junk would that the junk that it's in in that stuff this is why i don't smoke personally because i have family who have and who have gone through the sicknesses and all that i'm not really sure um i believe this all first started when she had these tumors in her brain that was like messing up her mind and my mother like when she gets a migraine she's usually down for like a couple of days at best and then she's back up and at it for like months on end but um, it got bad to the point where we, or my my dad took her to the ER. They did surgery on her, and everything. Like my mother's always had health issues in the past, but it seemed like everything now was all coming to its to to a head. Throughout all of that, I didn't really know what to do. I didn't really know what to think at the time, because. I, I've heard these stories of like it happening to other people, but I never, I couldn't, for some odd reason, I just couldn't process the fact of it being my own mother. And now that it's all said and done, I still can't believe it. She was then diagnosed with lung cancer. And obviously I already mentioned that. Um, we, they did the chemo and it wasn't working obviously. So that when the family got the news that she wouldn't survive past Christmas, it, it, I, I didn't know what to think. At that time, I was trying to, you know, push that to the side by just making videos or working or anything like that. But it hit a point where I just couldn't do it anymore. And I stopped. I just stopped altogether. And that's why I, that's why I disappeared for like a month and a week or so, or however long it's been. I don't really know. There are some, there are a lot of regrets that I have that I can't take back now. Like, for instance, I was just going through a Facebook page, the I think just now, and I can't find like any pictures of just me and her, and I I can't at least I can't find any recent ones, which that's. That's one of the few regrets that I have, mainly. Obviously, I did what I had to do. You know, I took time off, attended the viewing and service and all that. You know, the the typical things that we all go through. Thanksgiving was also, I want to say, happy Thanksgiving. Oh, and Thanksgiving was oddly strange enough. It was, it was a little, it was very odd. It wasn't the same, obviously, because, but, you know, we still had a good time. You know, we still had some good laughs, played a few board games and whatnot. You know, it was a good, it, I feel like it was a pretty good time. And I know that she would have wanted us to have a good time and all, you know, not for, I know that she wouldn't want us to mourn forever, but obviously there's going to be a time to mourn, times to be happy. If y'all don't actually know this, I was actually homeschooled for pretty much the second half of high school. And I did like online schooling and whatnot. So, um, and I, I, and you know, the good benefit of having online schooling, or at least for me, was that I could do the work at my own pace. You know, I could either get the entire week's worth of work done and have the rest of the week to myself, or I can just, or, or another thing we could, another thing that me and my mother did is we would actually, you know, 
she get me up at a certain time. And when it hit around lunchtime, you know, on certain days, we would go out to lunch. We would literally go out somewhere, go to lunch, enjoy a good time, me and her, or me, it was either me, her, or me, her, and my brother. Um, there's a bunch of names I want to give shout outs to. Um, TJ, um, Kishiro, um, Noah, OJ, a lot of different people who have been sticking through with me and have been mentally like helping me out a lot. And I also want to give a shout out to a certain individual, my girlfriend. Uh, I'm not giving out her name because I know y'all be scheming. Now, she's been helping me out through a lot. And she actually told me this, like, when she passed that I should take time, like, or at least before, to take time away from just content creation in general. And that you guys would understand. And, to the, and I always said, like, to the people who I don't, that's their problem. But... She was right, nonetheless, and I feel more, what's the right word? I feel, I don't know, I, I don't, I want to, I want to say that I feel better. I'm not entirely 100% here, but I just want to say that. So thank you. You know who you are. I'm not giving out names here. I, and also, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been patient with me, has been waiting on me to return. Um, I'm back now. I'm not fully back yet, but you know, I'm getting there. Um, there will be a video up tomorrow or today whenever I get around to posting this. I don't know. I just want to say thank you for your prayers to, for me and my family and the, the rest of my family. And yeah. And mother, if you're out there somewhere, um, somehow watching this, um, I hope that I make you proud. And...